This video is going to cover the basics of publishing Active Demand landing pages within your WordPress site. As you know, Active Demand has an outstanding landing page builder, and most people who are using Active Demand landing pages today are publishing the landing pages on a subdomain of the company's uh, website. For example, here, the appointment scheduling landing page that we're using, this is an active demand landing page, and it's hosted on our www2 subdomain. In most cases, this works extremely well. There's no need to have the landing page on the main domain of the website, but there might be some scenarios where the client prefers that all of the landing pages are on the client's main www subdomain. And because the www subdomain is pointing at the main website, clearly it's not available to the landing pages in active demand. The solution here is if the main website is hosted on a WordPress CMS, using the active demand plugin, you can actually render the active demand landing page from within WordPress. I've built my landing page. Now I want to get this landing page on the main domain of the website. So I'm going to do it through the WordPress plugin. So what I'll do is go into WordPress. I'll create a new page. I'll name the page, set up the slug so that the URL is the way I want it to be. And then inside the page editor in WordPress, you'll see a new little option here, which is active demand landing page. So I'll check this checkbox saying set this page as an active demand landing page. From the drop down list, I will choose the landing page that I want to host or publish on this WordPress page. And what it'll do is it'll replace the editor inside this page with a view of the landing page that's going to be hosted from within the main domain. As you see here, this is what the link for the landing page will be on the main website here. So if I go take a look at this landing page, sure enough, it's on the main domain of the website. So it's that simple is basically you can take any landing page that's uh, in active demand and you can either host it on a subdomain like I've shown you or you can host the page from within the WordPress site.